Good morning everyone, welcome to the flying field, hope you're all safe and well. Today is Sunday the 5th of September, I'm down the field, not as early as I normally am because it's getting a bit darker these days in the mornings. It's at 5 past 6. And we have the Phoenix. <laughs> This is, of course, my twin otter that hit the ground very hard upside down, been rebuilt, and it was suggested by Brian that I rename her the Phoenix. She's got Phoenix on the tail. This I had to do because this is a proper transfer and it just took the paint off as soon as I applied it. Uh, what's been done, start at the tail because we're at the tail. This is where she's split down the middle. There's a carbon spar under here now. And there's one on the other side as well, holding that all together. This was all rebuilt. This was rebuilt, had a crack right in it, and this was torn, the hinges were all torn. The fuselage was glued back together, that it all split open. And that was all cracked down the side here. And down the side here and you can still see some of the cocktail sticks I used to pin it all together. Will she fly? Well I don't know. I've had to replace two servos inside. This is like a remaiden of the Phoenix. So I'll be running it on the Turner G 2.65 2650 milliamp 3S 11.1 volts. These were charged up last night. And this one is at Battery goes in the same, which is an encouraging sign. So I'll get a few cameras on this. Get my cameras. So hopefully the wide angle will catch the props. Don't know if that'll work or not. Twin cam for the Twin Otter. Well, they say there's a first time for everything and I've forgotten my DX9 transmitter. There is nothing in the case. It's because I charged it up last night and I forgot this morning. I don't believe it. However, I did bring my NX8, so it's a maiden for my NX8 first actual flight. But that means I have to rebind this. Now what I've done, I put the bind port in the side here. So I don't have to faff around with anything in there. So we're going to do a bind first and I'm going to do it for safe. So you put the plug in, you connect up, then you take the plug out. And then you bind. Look good. Sure, the props are clear. Throttle cut off. It's 
good. That worked. It sort of surprised me really. Okay. We will be taking some photos because this is a maiden. Well, sort of a maiden. Let's hope my MX-8 is as good as people say it is. Should we go and fly this? So I won't be doing anything stupid with this today. Let's start here. First of all, this whole front track open is gluing back up. The board's not broken, in fact that's what's holding it together. Bent props, no cells have come off. Wings cracked here. All the um, flap here was broken. And I smacked the tail off. You see here, the tail's just broken off, but it can be glued straight back on. Oh, and I've broken the elevator. So that'll have to be rehinged and all glued back together. It cracked open here, split open, so I'll have to glue that together as well. This is crumpled a little bit. It's not too bad because if that's up, well, it's okay. It's got a bit of green on it now where it hit, it hit here, in this corner. Bang, and so then the rest just happened. This no cell's almost off like that one. The wings split here, but I've repaired split wings before. And it is going to take all of my wizardry and all of my skills, I think, to put back together. So this should be the same as my DX9, but I'm using my NX8. Okay, Twin Otter, Phoenix, Reborn, taking off. Some height. <coughs> oh. right. Yeah, that's how it is. Right trim. Trims aren't quite correct. trim as well. Wow. Not what she was. It's going over to the right. So that means I've got to. Oh, she's pitching over to the right a lot. Oh, 
What's that like? She's going to the left too much now. <laughs> yeah. Right, I think we've got something. It's hands off. That half throttle. I'm very nervous with it, I'll be honest with you. I'm very pleased with it. Let me go up and try the flaps. Take off flaps. Yeah, the loon's way too much. I've got to add much more elevator trim to it. Throttle. Let's try hard speed pass. It's full speed. That's half throttle. I hope the camera's picking up the light. It's really nice in this this time in the morning. Of course, autumn's coming now. Had a lousy summer in the UK. NX8 seems okay. Although I'll be honest, I didn't check my timer. Apparently I've got one minute left. Or I will have very soon. Love the lights. Time remaining, one minute. left good leap 30 seconds good roll okay take off flaps 20 seconds flaps up yeah i need to mix elevator in okay landing Seven seconds short of whatever the time was. Let's take it over there. Five, four, three, two, one. Time expired. 
So that was takeoff was in safe mode, but the rest was all in AS3X. Excellent. Oh, thank goodness. Well, burning. I don't know where it's coming from. Uh, over there, you might not be able to see it on the GoPro. I thought for a minute there it might have been this. <laughs> uh. Well, I haven't flown for about four weeks, so I really enjoyed that. It's well trimmed out now. Right. Turn that off. Battery's slightly warm. Nothing to get excited about. And we've got 47% left. So that's seven seconds short of seven minutes. And I've got 47% left. 3.84, 3.83, 3.84. It will stabilise a bit higher, but it's almost ready for storage. As far as I'm concerned, she might not look pretty. She might not look the way she did. But, wow, after that crash, it seemed to all work fine. She flies really well now. She's all trimmed out. So thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay well and come and join me on the next video. Cheers.